So I would say for an international city, Cape Town is a very affordable. I was pleasantly surprised when we got here to actually see the cost and prices of food and the activities that we were planning to do. Um, everything is really affordable. Like I, I have really, the most expensive thing that I've done has been paragliding. It's probably one of my favorite things I've done so far. Um, and that was 1200 Rand. And that included the videos and pictures during that flight. Um, so that's around 75 to 80 US dollars. riding on the beach one day and that was only 650 rand which is around like 40 dollars so in different parts of the world horseback riding <laughs> excursions can be really expensive here i just found it to be really affordable um, and because of that i feel like i've been able to do a lot while i've been here As far as paying for things goes, um, everyone accepts card and most of them have the card readers that they just bring around your table and you, know, you can just tap to pay. If you don't have a tap technology, you can always use the chip function, that works too. Um, I do carry cash around because I just find it convenient to have cash on me to pay for smaller items or you know, sometimes in our large group, it's easy just to throw in cash for a meal instead of having to deal with the card machine. Um, but in general, you can pay for everything with a card that hasn't been a problem here. at the Kirschenbosch Botanical Gardens. It is so gorgeous. Um, I really love visiting botanical gardens in different places that I go. And Cape Town is one of the like floral kingdoms of the world. Um, so it's, yeah, it's been a really, really great day. You can see it's actually kind of cloudy, which is perfect um, because it wasn't too hot or anything while we were here. But um, this is as far as like activities go in general, Cape Town, just like has blown my mind with how much there is to do locally but as also as far as like further out excursions so just within cape town you have water sports you have a lot of surfing and kite surfing there's kayaking um and then you also have you know more extreme sports like skydiving we did do paragliding one day walking tours there's yeah the botanic gardens here there's vineyards all around so you can do um wine you know vineyard days go and do some wine tasting um there's walking tours there's just like we have been going pretty much non-stops in the last eight weeks because there's just so much to do and we i like i can't even actually remember all the things that we've done i need to like make a list um, because we really have done like a lot of really fun stuff.
as far as like more like bigger excursions go um one of our favorites was the franchuk wine tram so it's uh, it's about like an hour away and there's just a wine tram that goes through like different vineyards so you can taste a lot of different wines in one day and you're not driving which is great um, and there's also, we have a group in Lesotho right now, which is a country that's sort of like inland in South Africa. We had a group go up to Kruger National Park and do a safari, like a four day safari there. Um, yeah, there's the spice route. So there's a, a town nearby called Parl and it's actually just like this giant farm where um, there's like different restaurants and stuff and you can do like a gin tasting and a wine tasting and a beer tasting and a chocolate tasting and like all these different um tastings from i don't know different areas um so yeah it's been really cool we've done yeah horseback riding on the beach we've done beach days obviously like we have had some chill just chill nice beach days but yeah the botanic gardens you can see behind me is just they're so beautiful very calm there's lots of people out here just like picnicking and hanging out so um there is definitely not a shortage of things to do <laughs> when you're in Cape Town. One of the things I was really excited about coming to Cape Town was to see the penguins. It's like one of many, many attractions that you can do here. Um, so we are at Boulder's Beach right now and we are about to go check them out. They're right over there. I'm so excited. Penguins are my absolute favorite. So the fact that you can see them in the wild in a city, um, it's just crazy to me, but let's go see them. of the trailhead we just grabbed an uber from our housing here to table mountain you can see right behind me <laughs> it's really high um, but we are hiking paddle cliff gorge which we heard was the shortest route but potentially the steepest uh, so we will find out once we start going up it is a popular route it's pretty social there's lots of hikers over here as you can see there's lots of cars already it's about eight o'clock in the morning um, and it should take us about two and a half to three hours to get up to the top and then we will take the cable car back down so we are not doing a round trip we are taking the cable car down um, but yeah excited to get started just waiting on the rest of our group to arrive and then we will start the hike up Sounds like we're about a third of the way up. This is where we are currently. Um, it's kind of just cli climbing a Stairmaster for a couple of hours. <laughs> that's, that's what it's been like so far. It's good. There's a marathon going on. It's a very beautiful Stairmaster. <laughs> it's a very beautiful Stairmaster, I agree. <laughs> of Table Mountain and you can see beautiful Cape Town down there below. 